ഹായ് എവരി വൺ വെൽക്കം ടു ദ ചാനൽ മാത്ത് ഫോർ മീ ആൻഡ് യു ലെറ്റ്സ് ലേൺ മാത്ത്സ് ടുഗെദർ ഹലോ ഇറ്റ്സ് മീ സിന്ധു സുരേഷ് ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ വി ആർ ഡിസ്കസിംഗ് മോസ്റ്റ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് എം സി ക്യൂസ് ആൻഡ് ട്രൂ ഓർ ഫോൾ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ഫ്രം നമ്പർ സിസ്റ്റംസ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് വെദർ ദ ഫോളോയിങ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ്സ് ആർ ട്രൂ ഓർ ഫോൾസ് ടു ആൻസർ ദിസ് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് കറക്റ്റ്ലി വി മസ്റ്റ് ഹാവ് എ ക്ലിയർ ഐഡിയ അബൌട്ട് നമ്പർ സിസ്റ്റംസ് Let's begin with the smallest set of numbers which is natural numbers. They are 1, 2, 3 etc. up to infinity. When we add 0 to this set of numbers we get whole numbers 0, 1, 2, 3 etc. up to infinity. To this set if we join minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 etc. up to minus infinity these negative numbers we get again a larger set of numbers they are known as integers. To this set of numbers, next we are going to join two types of decimals, terminating decimals and non-terminating repeating decimals. For example, 0.125 and 0.8 are terminating decimals. An example of non-terminating repeating decimal is 4.333 etc. And next, numbers like fractions, 1 by 2, 8 by 75, these type of numbers. When we join these type of numbers, to the set of integers we get again a larger set of numbers and these numbers are known as rational numbers therefore in the set of rational numbers we could see natural numbers whole numbers integers and terminating decimals non terminating repeating decimals and fractions the numbers which are not rational are known as irrational numbers non terminating non repeating decimals are irrational numbers For example, 0.410, 41000, 41000, 41000, etc. is an irrational number. Numbers connected with the pi are irrational. For example, pi itself is an irrational. 3 pi divided by 8 is an irrational number. Also, 7 pi divided by 25 is another example of irrational number. All the root numbers where the under root value is not a perfect square is irrational. For example, root 2, root 5, root 3, root 7 etc. are irrational. But root 4 is not irrational, it is rational because under root is a perfect square. Finally, when we join rational numbers and irrational numbers, we get the largest set of numbers. And the set is known as set of real numbers. Here we could see all the numbers. Okay how to answer the true or false question from this chapter correctly if we get a statement starting from the smallest set to the largest set the statement will be true for example every natural number is a whole number every whole number is an integer every integer is rational irrationals are real numbers also rationals are real numbers these statements are true but opposite statements will be false that means if we get a statement connecting from the largest set to the smallest set will be a false statement okay let's answer this first one every natural number is a whole number what is your answer true or false natural number set is a smaller set compared to whole number so we can say this is a true statement next one every rational number is an integer rational number set is larger set and integers are inside rational numbers so this statement is false third every rational number is a real number yes this is true because irrational numbers are smaller set and they are inside the real number set fourth one every whole number is a rational number true or false yes this is true because whole number set is a smaller set which is inside the rational number set fifth one every point on the number line is of the form root m where m is a natural number true or false this is false because on the number line there are negative numbers which we cannot write in the form root m where m is a natural number so this is a false statement answer the following first one which of the following is a rational number root 14 root 15 root 16 and root 17 All the options are root numbers but option C root 16 under root is 16 which is a perfect square so we can write the square root as 4 and this is a natural number also a rational number so option C is the correct answer all other root numbers are irrational numbers next the decimal expansion of an irrational number is option A always terminating option B non terminating repeating option C always repeating option D non terminating non recurring Option D is the correct answer. While revising the number system itself we have studied what are the specialties of decimals in an irrational number set. Question number 
which of the following is the decimal expansion of 3 and 5 by 8 to get the decimal expansion first of all we have to change this to improper fraction 3 and 5 by 8 is equal to 8 times 3 24 plus 5 29 29 divided by 8 next we have to divide 29 with 8 then we will be getting the answer 3.625 which is option a question 4 the decimal form of 425 divided by 200 is to get the decimal form we have to divide but here we can make this division easy how can we do that the denominator we are going to split 425 divided by 200 we are splitting as 2 times 100 then first we divide 425 with the 2 after that we can easily divide with 100 so when we divide 425 with the 2 we get the answer 212.5 next divide by 100 so move the point two place to the left side then we are getting the answer 2.125 which is option b question 5 given that 1 by 7 equals 0 0.142857 bar then what is the value of 3 by 7 3 by 7 actually it means 3 times 1 by 7 so just multiply the decimal form of 1 by 7 with 3 3 times 0 0.142857 bar we have studied how to multiply the decimals first we write the digits without point 142857 multiply with 3 the decimal number 0 0.142857 having six decimal places so our answer also must have the same number of decimal places when we put the point we are getting the answer 0 0.428571 then bar so what is the correct option option is d question 6 which of the following is a rational number between 2 by 5 and 3 by 5 if you want to find one rational number between the given two rational numbers, just add the two numbers and divide by two. If we do like this, we will be getting the middle value of the first number and the last number. Okay, two by five plus three by five, same denominator five and add the numerator two and three. Two plus three is five. So we get five by five divided by two. Five by five is one divide by two. So which number is in between two by five and three by five? It is one by two and that is option B next one the value of root 3 plus root 7 the whole square is this is of the form a plus b the whole square a plus b the whole square is a square plus b square plus 2 a b just put the values over there and we can find the answer in place of a root 3 root 3 square is 3 b square means it is root 7 square that is 7 2 times root 3 times root 7 that is the third term which is equal to 3 plus 7 is 10 plus 2 times root 3 times root 7 is root of 3 times 7 which is root 21. So the correct answer is option C 10 plus 2 root 21. Next one what is the value of 1 by 5 the whole square? We can write this power separately. 1 square divided by 5 square the whole square. 1 square is 1 divided by 5 square the whole square is 5 to the power 2 times 2 that is 4. 1 divided by 5 power 4 is 625. The answer is 1 divided by 625. That is option C. If you want, you can answer this in different way. We can write 1 divided by 5 square is 25, then whole square. So 1 square is 1 and 25 square is 625. Question 9. What is the value of a to the power m times a to the power n? The answer is a to the power m plus n, which is option C. Question 10. What is the value of 5 to the power 4 to the power 7? If we get a base with the two different powers, just multiply the powers. 5 to the power of 4 times 7, that is 5 to the power of 28. So the correct answer is option A. Next is question 11. The number 12 plus root 17 minus root 17 is 12 plus root 17 and then minus root 17. See, plus root 17 and minus root 17. We could cancel. So what is the answer we are getting? It is equal to 12. And what type of number is 12? 12 is a natural number. So option D is the correct answer. Question 12. What is the value of 27 to the power 2 by 3? Here the power is a fraction. So we are going to find its value. We can change in root form. That means radical form and find the value. 27 to the power 2 by 3 is equal to write the base as the under root number here 27 is the base so we write root of 27 next give the power 
2 by 3. So the numerator power 2 inside and by 3 means divide by 3 so 3 outside. We are getting cube root of 27 power 2. Start with the cube root. Cube root of 27. Which number repeats 3 times to get 27. This is the meaning. We know that 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So cube root of 27 is equal to 3 and then give the inside power 2. 3 square. 3 square is equal to 3 times 3 which is equal to 9. So what is the correct answer? Option B 9. Next question. Which of the following is obtained when rationalizing the denominator of 3 divided by root 5 minus root 2? Here the denominator having two terms. If the denominator with the two terms, we have to multiply the numerator and denominator with the conjugate. Here root 5 minus root 2. So we need to multiply the numerator and denominator with root 5 plus root 2 which is the conjugate of the denominator which is equal to the numerator becomes 3 times root 5 plus root 2 and the denominator is of the form a minus b times a plus b so what is a minus b times a plus b a square minus b square we can write root 5 square minus root 2 square in the next step we could write the numerator same as it is 3 times root 5 plus root 2 divided by root 5 square is 5 minus root 2 square is 2 which is equal to 3 times root 5 plus root 2 divided by 3. Numerator and denominator we could cancel 3. So what is the answer we are getting? Root 5 plus root 2 and the answer is option A. Question 14. The decimal expansion of 37 divided by 100 is. To get the decimal expansion we have to divide. 37 considered as a decimal number with the 0 decimal places. Divide by 100. To divide by 100, just move the point 2 places towards the left side. So we are getting 0.37 as the answer. We can see the decimal number stops after 2 places. So it stops means terminating decimal. Question number 15. Which of the following is an irrational number? First option is root 9 which is equal to 3 that is a rational number. 0.3 bar. 3 bar means it is repeating decimal 0.3333 etc. Next is a fraction 2 by 15 it, which is of the form p by q. So this is a rational number. And then the last option which is a non-terminating non-recurring decimal. We have studied that the decimal form of an irrational number is non-terminating non-recurring. So option D is the correct answer. Hope this video is useful to you. If you like this video please share and subscribe to my channel math for me and you. You can follow me in my Instagram page as well link in the description box see you with more useful videos thank you